Welcome to A Drink of Wisdom with Jay Wise and Nathan Drinkard. I'm your host, Cody Ward. Thanks for spending some of your time with us tonight. As a reminder to the listeners, besides being on all your favorite podcast platforms, A Drink of Wisdom is also on YouTube, with each show segment available. Head on over, and if you like what you hear, we'd appreciate your subscription. What's going on, guys? It's the beard, it's the drink, and it's the wisdom. Let's get it. Let's talk some sports, baby. Best part of my day. In episode what, what, sixty. What was that? What was that? What, what was that little ending? <laughs> what was that? Just, just go with it, man. Come on. Uh, <laughs> I got, yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, in episode sixty is Tua versus Burrow. We break down some of the most interesting NBA lineups in the past twenty years, and the fellows are going to get defensive as they lay out their best NFL stoppers in the twenty tens. But first, perhaps the most impactful change in the new CBA is set to take effect this year. The NFL playoffs will expand from 12 teams to 14 teams this year, the first change to the playoff format in 30 years. Under the new rules, an additional wildcard weekend game will be played between the two seed and the seven seed. The games will be played in triple headers on both Saturday and Sunday. Only the one seed will receive a bye under the new rules. The change is expected to bring in more revenue for the league and for the players, but it might have some negative effects as well. So, Jay, on a scale of 1 to 10, how good is this new playoff expansion? I'm giving it a 4. Five right in the middle is average. Slightly below average for me. On one hand, as a, as a fan of the NFL, as a fan of football, it, it's hard for me to say no to more football. So, that's why that's why it's really it's really close for me. But it goes back to the point of urgency in the regular season and you can look at it one of two ways because on one hand you can say yes it adds urgency to the regular season at the very top because you're limiting yourself to one first round bye so last year we'd have the Ravens and 49ers as your top C's and the Chiefs and Packers who are your two C's no longer get a first round bye but we got to remember that when we talk about these first round buys, the Texans were the four seed in the AFC last year, and they shut down operations in Week 17 and were resting guys. So we're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna see more and more action like this because the Patriots they probably shut it down because they were out of the running. The Chiefs, I mean, it, it's just gonna be one of them situations where late in the season, I think you're gonna see more teams resting. Whereas if you if you left it the same and had two first round buys, there would be more jockeying p- for position late in the season. Now you'd still have teams resting at some point, but I think I think it's possible you could see that even more. You may have I think it leads early on in the season that you need to be on your A game early and often if you want to have a shot that number one seed in that first round buy. But I, I just don't see that as being. I don't, I, I'm looking at late in the season. I think we're going to see more wrestling of players late in the season. And then on the other end of that, you're going to see more nine-win teams in the playoffs. And it won't be it won't be eight and eight no more, but we, we could see it because of the 17-game schedule. But we could see an eight and nine team slide in at some point in the wild card. And th- this is one of the problems or issues that we have with the, the NBA playoff system. Because we know when the NBA playoffs get underway, the first round in the 1-8 matchup in the 2-7 is, is normally a wrap. Like, there's no, I mean, we watch, but we know it's a foregone conclusion, especially in a seven-game series, that that one and that two seed are going to have their way more often than not. And we will we see more upsets in the NFL? Sure, because it's just a one-game thing. We, we, we can see these type of things happening. But... I'm looking at the Chiefs and Steelers from last year. The Devlin Hodges Steelers or the Mason Rudolphs. I I can't imagine how bad of a game that would be with Patrick Mahomes against Devlin Hodges or Mason Rudolph. I don't know. Maybe maybe Mike Tomlin plays one for a half and the other one for a half and tries to match it up that way. I don't know. But I don't see that that being very compelling. And then I I think Packers and Rams – that has some merit to it on the other side, the NFC. But did the Rams really deserve to be in the playoffs last season? I, I don't think they did. And with that in mind, we already had the Titans last season just slide their way on in. They had a little bar of soap in them last year, a la Kyle Lowry with the 9-7 and seven record. 
that ain't that ain't made it happen once they got in the playoffs. But it just it just leads to, and you guys said this before, the rewarding of mediocrity. And this is one of the things I think the NFL has had this right for years with what three eighths or no, a little bit no not three eighths but about 38 percent of the NFL teams making the playoffs. That that sounds about right. Once you get over to forty percent and you're approaching fifty percent, that's too many. I mean, we see it. We see it every year in the NBA. More than half the teams make the playoffs, so there's going to be always probably at least one team in the playoffs with a losing record. I, I don't think that's good for the game. And again, Chiefs, Steelers, Packers, Rams. I, I don't see those very good matchups. But again, it is more football. So it's hard to be. It's hard to say no to that. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm gonna keep this short, sweet, and to the point. I think Jay hit most of the points. I'm gonna give him a six, and this is why I'm gonna give him a six. Uh, the way I look at it is this: the thing that I like the most is the fact that one team get a buy. I'm all about that. That I, that I think that will raise some sense of urgency. And yeah, I do. do I do think. Teams will shut it down early if they don't think they get that number one seed because it's really not going to matter either you're going to play at home or you're going to play in the road, but you're going to play in that week one, so that first weekend. So it is what it is. However, I like that you give one goal. Everybody come for that one goal. They play their best ball majority of the season. You can't, like, lose to – last year, you can't lose to the Dolphins. You can't be flailing around with the Browns. You, you got to beat everybody. So that way, when you play the upper echelon teams, those games are going to matter more. Just think when you have those one and two matchups, those one and three matchups, and they're fighting to be the number one. By default, because of only one team getting the buy. So th- that's my, my biggest pro of it. The con, I, you know, I just said this multiple times. I just said it on past shows. I'm not about award me- mediocrity. Um, I, I, I'm a big believer in you got to fight for what you get. And I just feel like it's going to be too much of this NCAA tournament um, type of mentality where, like, oh, I can lose early. I catch that hot streak, you know, after the halfway mark, and now I'm in there, baby. We got that that whopping seven seed. Shouts out to your boy. Thank you. And I'm just – I'm not the biggest fan of it, you know. So um, we'll see. It's just like anything else in sports. I got to see it one time to really get a good good feel for it to see if I really dislike it as much as I think I do. I said this during the All-Star game when they had when they switched up their format. The sound of it didn't incite me. It didn't incite me at all. However, once I seen the format go down, once I seen how it looked, I left I left that product thinking that was a good product. NBA did a good job. I can't wait to see what they do next year. So it might be the same thing with the playoffs. I don't know. But from the from the way it sounds right now, yeah, I'm going to give it a, a 6 out of 10. Yeah, I, I'm not much of a fan of it. I, if I had to give it a number, I'd say a 4 or a 3. Um, I think we had to even acknowledge the main reason this is happening is money. I mean, there was nothing wrong with the system we had. I mean, it wasn't like every year some eight and eight team was like, "Oh my God, we just we we should be in the playoffs." Like when when the CFP the college football playoff change, yeah, there was a pretty good argument that hey, like number three and number four also had some pretty good arguments, and eventually it pushed the game. The only thing it pushed this was the owners want more money, and they're going to make more money because Wild Card Weekend has like went up and up as far as viewership goes. The NFL said, "Well, hey, we can throw a third team in there. We got time." You know, we'll just run a game at one o'clock, at four o'clock and seven o'clock or whatever. And, you know, so I don't like that. It wasn't made. The decision wasn't really made based off of some need the game had. I, the, the playoff system we had worked pretty well. But, I, you know, and I, I'm just kind of a, I'm a less teams guy that comes to the playoffs. Like I watch mediocre to below average most of the year with the, with the junk I watch, uh, the weekly games I watch. So when I turn on the playoffs, man, I want to see the best teams. I don't want to see eight and eight. I don't want to eat nine and seven. Even like, uh, you know, like I want to see the best teams play and we're going to have more just average teams running around. And they like you said, I mean, we see the chiefs and Steelers. Okay. That's either a 51 to 17 route or somehow the Steelers mess around and upset them. And then now I've got to watch them another week when we know inevitably they're going to come crashing back to earth. Like most of these teams do these little Cinderella's that get on runs. Like, Every Super Bowl participant in the last seven seasons has been a one or a two seed and had a first round bye. I, I just think it's not there's 
there should be more rewards for being even the second best team. I mean, that's still a lot to fight for. And even going into this past this past playoffs, there were teams. Remember the Seahawks and the 49ers were fighting for that that second seed yep. or the the five seed. You know, there was a lot of debate versus who was going to get that, and that made a big difference. See, you know, Seattle kind of flamed out, or San Francisco got that by, and they got to roll on. So, I don't know. I just to me, it, it's like, yeah. It's, I mean, there are some upsides. You know, the, the players are going to get more money too because they get more of the share of revenue now, and it's going to bring more revenue to the league. Um, you're going to get more meaningful games late in the year. A lot of these teams that are around 500 are going to have more to play for. So you'll get some more games or the teams haven't just packed it in and are looking to next year. But yeah, overall, I, I, I can't be too excited about it. But hey, you know, more football. So, you know, oh well. Yeah, I, I, and I would say this to, to close out. The big, the really the only change because your three sixes and your four or five matchups they stay the same. The only difference is you add a team, and the 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 other team that would have had a buy is got to is got to duke it out in wild card weekend. The two seven matchups are not going to be good. They're going to be one team. The two seed is going to be highly favored, just as a two seed in the NBA playoffs is going to have a high probability of just rolling through that round. It's just what's going to happen. But even so, even if the last season the Steelers or the Rams had a snuck on by to the divisional round, the probability de- more that they're going to advance again. They, th- these teams virtually, they don't have much of a chance, and that's the ultimate goal. It's not just to get in. It's to, act, it's to make a run and win the whole thing. The seven seeds, they're not going to really have a chance. And, oh, by the way, you might have to check me on this. The last time a team... Uh, didn't have the benefit of a first round by the Ravens. Yep. So even with that, you first the first round by it has been critical the past many years. And even now that it's less than one by, I don't I don't think that hurts two and three and four C's all that much. That I think they'll if you win your division, you normally have a good chance. But seven C's and even the even the wild card teams now. They're already behind the eight ball, seven seeds. They're not going to have much of a chance, even though you let them on in there.